Okay, so first we're gonna put the rice in some water so it gets a little softer. Well, I was born in Texas. We spent like three years there. And then, like I think when I was in first grade, we moved to Jordan. We stayed like another five, six years there until I was like in middle school. And after that, we moved to Qatar. And I finished high school there. I graduated from there. And then I came here to Kentucky and I went to the University of Kentucky for my, um, for my undergrad. And we're gonna cut up the onions and saute them with the chicken. And we'll fry the falafel. So I was born in Puerto Rico. Um, my, well, my parents didn't live there. So I was born in Puerto Rico and then my parents moved to Texas. Um, Houston, Texas, and then my sister was born, Zainab. We lived there until I was in about grade one, and then we moved to Jordan. We moved to Jordan because um, my dad wanted us to learn Arabic um, and kind of learn about the like Arabic and Islamic culture, so that's why he moved us overseas and we didn't stay here. Um, so we lived in Jordan for about, until I was like in grade six, and then we moved to Qatar um, for job opportunities for my parents. So Jordan had become very expensive. Um, while we were living in Jordan, my dad didn't live with us. It was only me, my mom, and my sister. He would go back and forth, send us money, um, just because there were not very good job opportunities there. So like my parents decided that we wanted to be all together, and so we moved to Qatar. We moved around a lot, but I feel like this moving around like opened my eyes to the different cultures like i'm 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 muslim so i was i was raised in muslim in a muslim country both in jordan and in qatar but living here i think i was more exposed to the christian religion and to the non-muslims and i think it also helped me helped me grow and helped me um just experience other people and just experience being around people that are different than i am Um, it was a little bit lonely, um, uh, I was a bit sad, like the first six months I was here, it was very difficult, um, uh, I think the biggest thing was, like, the social life, um, and especially here, everything closes so early, like, back home, like, cafes and malls and stuff wouldn't close to, like, 12, 1 a.m., and so kind of that is, like, your day ends at 6, it was difficult. That was like a hot, the hardest adjustment for me. I don't look like everybody else. Um, and I feel like some people might be hesitant to kind of talk to me because of my hijab. Um, and also at the same time, it makes me, like at the beginning, it made me feel very self-conscious into where I always think, oh, like they, people couldn't look past my hijab. I, I, I consider myself American within and I think like, I mean, I, English is my first language and everything. And I feel like they, when looking at me, they're thinking like, what, what is she doing here? Like, why is she, why is she working with us? Why, why is she here? I'm actually, I feel like, I feel very blessed and I feel like God's protecting me. Until now, I haven't like received any kind of uh, prejudiced people coming to me and telling me anything. But also at the same time, I kind of started wearing hats too, just right after, because it was the winter and it was kind of I could do that. I'm mean, not seem like it's like good. it would be a weird thing. Yeah. How did you learn how to cook at home when you were in Qatar? Yeah, when I was in Qatar, I, I mama taught me. I was speaking to a group of other students and they're like. Wow, and one student was like, "Wow, you're you're not you're not the way that I thought you were." I was like, "What do you mean?" And I was glad that she actually said that. You know what I mean? And and I actually changed her mind and changed the way that she thought about Muslims. And she was like, "I don't know. I just like you seem just you seem normal, just like us." I was like, "Yeah, I am." And like I'm glad we got to talk so that you could at least understand that that I'm just as normal as you are. And like each person has their own personality. Each person has their own way of thinking but the other person is just as human as you are. Oh. I know, yeah,
this is not like calorized food, but it's so good. Wow. I don't know how to cook some. Would you help me? I helped you, Yanni, but. And you did most of it, so. Good job, Mama. It's really good. Mm. 